Hey guys, this is Han from Asian Boss Next. Today we're gonna show you a commercial at first. Please take a close look at the following commercial. This is a commercial produced by the German DIY store chain Hornbach. This commercial has feared anger among Asian women as a racist video. So today we interviewed some diverse international college students about this commercial and asked their own opinions. What, if you were to sort of express your first impression of this commercial, I swear. <laughs> It's just terrible. Mm -hmm. Like Asian women are already like objectified very often mm -hmm. and <laughs> um can you name an example where you've experienced or where you've um sort of witnessed where Asian women were objectified? <laughs> like like <laughs> my life. Really? Like if I go to like Itaewon or yeah. any place like, I don't know, for some reason, like 40, 50 year old white men, mm -hmm. like they think because like, I don't know why, but then they think they can hit on me mm -mm. Right. <laughs> because yeah. probably because I'm Asian and I'm like younger women, yeah, you know. maybe mm -hmm. they think I want old white men mm -hmm. <laughs> in my life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you see this type of, you know, scene, what emotion do you feel? Um, terrible. Okay. It just shows how, like, not everyone, but like how some people view us. Mm -hmm. Because, like, this is not a person that's putting this out. Mm -hmm. It's a company, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's kind of embarrassing and inappropriate as a brand to be like, oh, well, like, that's not our intention, but like, your word against an entire group of people coming after you isn't necessarily enough. Like, more terrible because usually on media, Asian people are not seen often. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they decided oh, to use a that Asian women sense. just this time for that role is like, has a lot to say. Mm. It's just terrible. Like, even if it's for mar marketing and they don't really think like this, like media does affect a lot and like media is what everyone sees and like people know media isn't like everything or they might have false information but then it's what you see and you tend to believe it. So the commercial ends off with the slogan that says so riecht das Frühjahr and it basically means this is how spring smells like. Do you see the connection between the slogan and what happened? Yeah, kind of, kind of. I think it was like because the guy was kind of like doing like spring activities. Yes. So he was like mowing his lawn. And he was like smelly and stinky and that's kind of what like people think spring is like other than the beauty side. It's more of like the, oh, you're stinky and smelly to get ready for the beauty side. And then they sent it to some like company. Uh -huh. And then the lady who was Asian yes. was basically like feeling, how do I say this? Yes. She was like getting like 
Aroused. Yes, thank you. She was getting aroused from the smell of laundry. It could be a little controversial. Yes. Yeah. Do you all agree that there is some type of sexual and racial stereotype involved in this that can offend Asian people in general? Should people feel offended? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How would you have felt if it was a woman of your own color? <laughs> I think I would be more offended if it kind of like stereotyped like the like the African American yes. experience. So so that would kind of be way more offensive to me. It's also very surprising that they used an Asian woman instead of like a German woman. Like you could tell that it was very targeted. Like you will smell like for a very specific person will want to like I don't know. It was just very interesting. Can we start? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was gonna be a laundry commercial. <laughs> what is your first impression of this commercial? They collect like sweaty shirts, mm -hmm. right? They collect like sweaty shirts yeah. and they package it, it and they put it in the vending machine. And this is Japan? Is this Japan? Is this German? It's not specified. So how do you feel about this commercial? I think it was weird. <laughs> Is it like making fun of um, Japanese weirdness? So the slogan at the end, it says So riecht das früher, which means this is what spring smells like. And the brand is actually German. And they sell home appliance DIY related products. Yes, yeah, so for the new upcoming spring season, they're trying to sell their products by inviting them, you know, to Prepare for spring. Uh, uh, I don't know, I still don't get it. I would never have thought that would have been a commercial. How is that related to the yeah, yeah, why is that? Do you see any problem with this commercial at all? Why I mean, Japan? I'm, I don't think it has anything <laughs> it to do with Japan. Yes, though. there is. Carol, <laughs> I have a question. Why you kept on commenting about you know japan yes could you elaborate that was more japan. for you identifying this commercial that makes you think of japan I'm not sure if, if that lady was japanese but mm -hmm. then she looked japanese mm -hmm. do you think making her japanese was like a significant yeah i'm pretty sure some japanese like, was like kind of offended by this after this commercial came out um towards the end of march uh korean communities in germany started a petition to um, demand an apology from this brand because they felt very offended by this commercial. See? The fact that they used an Asian woman and being like aroused by sweaty laundry that yes. were worn by elderly white men who are not exactly visually attractive. The way they depicted like the area they were in was like when they were in Germany or wherever it was lush yeah. and green, and then they go to the scene with her, and it's like they have like a, it's a cold gray under. If it was racially driven, they would have like put her in I don't know Japan or Korea. Like they would have made it clear. But I don't. And I think it was just they wanted like diversity in the commercial, and if they just hire whoever is best at it, I don't think that it was racially driven. People reach the most ridiculous conclusions, bro. Like. I'll be jumping to conclusions too quick. <laughs> I don't think it's really about that. Yeah. I mean, recently, like maybe, people are like kind of sensitive about these kind of stuff. Yeah. Then maybe if you had more diversity throughout the commercial, it would have been less significant of the fact that she was Asian. It's like a weird commercial, and they could have done something that made more sense to advertise their brand, but I don't think they met any slang by it. People who are really angry about it say that Asian women are often objectified representations and this was just another one. I see the point there. I think all women, despite race or ethnicity, are objectified sexually, but I don't see a sexual... like. Mm -hmm. I don't see her being identified. Wasn't she getting turned on by the smell? That's no, not that's like, not what it was though. Like she was like fully clothed. See, like, most people were saying that she was like aroused. Yeah, yeah it's like a euphoric fine. smell, but then there's like the fine line between yeah. you know being aroused and then just enjoying the euphoric smell. It was yeah. Yeah, did you see her face? 
Yeah, but that's not. Her eyes I don't were think like that that looks. That <laughs> to me, that doesn't look like an orgasm. Bro. Yes, like, it does. Not. Yo, you look no, at the film again. No, that looks like she was just her eyes. Were like and I just think that the controversy over this commercial was really stupid. I just don't think that she was being sexually objectified. And yes, all women are sexually objectified. That's not really race based. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Um, Hera, how do you feel about this as a male? As a male? Yeah. To be honest, um, nothing. <laughs> like, I know they're just making this um, commercial, but then I just don't like their idea of making this commercial. Like, I they didn't even know that they're, creative. yeah, like, maybe showing their products. Not, I don't, yeah. I don't get how this relates to their company. <laughs> I think also, I think there's also, like, a split perspective based on your culture. Like, if it was directly depicted for, like, Asian countries, then they would have made it clear in the commercial that this is Asia and like Asia is suffering from pollution and we're sending you this to show you how spring smells like. But they didn't do that. It was just a random factory area. Do you guys think there would have been a controversy if this was a man at the end of the video that was also Asian? I feel like this is literally like a stretch. Yeah, true. Cosmics. I'm Desiree. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe down below and stay curious. <laughs>